In this video, we're going to continue our exploration of solving sinusoid equations. Remember, sinusoid equations refers to sine and cosine equations. Um, and in this case, we're looking for more, more complicated equations that may not appear on the unit circle. But have no fear, because Ryan is going to be our leader. Since he's been doing so well, you can see he's diligently working out some solutions for us. So let's see what he has in store for us. So the first problem is I want you to find the exact value of f of 0 without using your calculator. And there's the equation that I've given you, the, the function. So hopefully remember f of 0 means that x is equal to 0. So if I wanted to find f of 0, I would just replace the x's with a 0. And I want you to go ahead and try it out. So try to simplify that as much as you can and try to use your unit circle or triangles. Don't use your calculator. And we'll go over that in class. The second, second part is to solve the, the function when it's equal to negative 1.5. And so hopefully you remember that means that I will set my function equal to negative 1.5. And so my goal is to try to isolate the cosine. I can do that by dividing by 2 on both sides. And so I will end up with negative 0.75 equaling the cosine of 3x minus pi over 3. So now I'm thinking of the cosine of some angle that is going to give me negative 0.75. So which angle has a cosine of negative 0.75? So hopefully you remember one of these options or one of these answers is going to be the cosine inverse. So if I do the cosine inverse of negative 0.75, I can do that on my calculator because that is one of those angles that is not on the unit circle. So make sure you are in radian mode, which I am. And then I can just do second cos, negative 0.75. And I get an answer of 2.418. So I know then that this thing inside which represents my angle, has to be 2.418. So that means that 3x minus pi over 3 has to be 2.418. But there's also another place on the unit circle where the cosine is negative 0.75. Now cosine inverse won't give me that answer because cosine inverse can only give me one answer. But I am smart enough, and we can certainly consult with our dear friend, Roddy, who is pretty smart and tells us that the second one is going to be in the fourth or third quadrant. Because if you think about the unit circle, where is the cosine equal to negative 0.75? So remember the cosines refer to the x-coordinates. So where are the x's negative 0.75? Well, I'm going to approximate and say there's a point here that has an x-coordinate of negative 0.75. It's got some y-value that I, at this point, don't care about. And so if I were to draw the angle in standard position, this is the angle whose cosine is negative 0.75. And according to the calculator, that angle is 2.418. But, as our good friend Roddy told us, there is another point in the third quadrant where the cosine is also negative 0.75 because the x-coordinate is also negative 0.75. And so we really need to figure out um, what this angle is here. Now hopefully you recognize that those two angles are exactly the same amount the only thing that has changed is the direction. So the second angle would be negative 2.418. And 
And so not only am I going to set 3x minus pi over 3 to be equal to 2.418, I am also going to set it equal to be negative 2.418. And then I can just solve for x. So I'm going to add pi over 3 to both sides. And when I do that on my calculator, I get 3.466. And then when I divide by 3, I get 1.155. And then remember that this is going to repeat. And this is going to repeat a lot because it repeats forever. The cosine graph just keeps repeating. And so I need to figure out what the period is. So hopefully you recognize from here that this is my B and that the period is 2 pi over B. So in this case the period is 2 pi over 3. So I'm going to say that one of my answers is x equals 1.155 plus 2 pi over 3 K And then I need to solve the other equation. So I need to add a pi over 3 to both sides here. And so I'm going to get 3x equaling. I'll have to ask the calculator again. So this time I want to do uh, the negative of the 2.418. And then to that, I want to add a pi over 3. and I get negative 1.371. And then I can divide by 3. So the second part to my answer is this, divided by 3, is negative 0.457. plus 2 pi over 3k. So those are, that is my general solution, a combination of those two answers. Now I need to find my three, first three positive answers. So one way of doing this is, I certainly know that um, this is my first negative, the negative 0.457. And so I know that 1.155 is my first positive answer. So I'm going to write them both here. Sorry, this is a little bit squished here. Right, and so remember that if I want to get more answers, I would just keep on adding the period. So I'm going to add 2 pi over 3 to both of these. Right, and that should give me uh, more answers. So if I take that and add a 2 pi over 3, that's going to give me my second positive, which is at 1.637. And if I take my 1.155 and add the period to that, here's my number, and add a 2 pi over 3, that is going to give me my third positive answer. So we get 3.249. So this is my first positive. This is the smallest positive. That's the second one. And then this is the third one.
So um, we're actually going to skip uh, finding g of 2. Hopefully you know. All we really need to do is plug in um, x equals 2. Um, but let's go ahead and solve this equation, g of x equals 2. So we're going to take our equation. and set it equal to 2. And we're going to try to solve that. So hopefully you recognize the first thing I want to do is subtract the 1 and divide by 3. So if I do that, I will end up with the sine of 1 fourth x minus 5 equaling 1 third. Right, if I subtract the 1 and divide by 3. And so again, I'm trying to figure out the sine of some angle um, so I'm looking for the angle whose sine is one-third. And so I could certainly turn that into a sine inverse problem. And so it would be sine inverse of one-third. The sine inverse gives me the angle. And that's the angle that I'm looking for. So I will ask my calculator to give me the sine, the angle whose sine is one-third. And I get uh, 0.339. Right, so I know that if I want the sine to, of this to be one-third, that means that this thing has to be 0.339. So I'm going to set it equal to be 0.339. But we are smart enough to know that if we think about the unit circle, there are actually two places where the sine is one-third. So the sign refers to the y value. There is some coordinate over here. We don't know the x. We know there's a coordinate that has a y value of one-third. And so this angle is the one that the calculator gave me as 0.339. But there's another one over here in the second quadrant that also has a y coordinate of one-third. So I need to figure out what that is. So um, we know that this angle and this angle are congruent. And so if I wanted to find out what this angle is, that would just be pi minus 0.339. Right, because it's almost 180 degrees minus that little piece there. So I'm also going to set one-fourth x minus five to be pi minus 0.339. So again, I will have two answers, just like I did in the previous problem. Okay, um, I'm gonna go through this a little bit faster. So certainly know you would add a five and multiply by four to isolate the x. So if we do that, I ended up with x equaling 21.359. But remember that this repeats every period. And so in this case, our B value is one fourth. So the period is two pi over B. So eight pi. So in this case, it's gonna be plus eight pi K. Is gonna be my general solution. And then I could do the same thing for the second one. If I add a 5 and multiply by 4 to isolate the x, I will find out that x is 31.207 plus 8 pi k. Right, and so that would be the general solution, those two combined. Now it's asking me to find the first positive, first three positive answers to this equation. And so we know that 21.359 is one of my answers. We also know that 31.207 is another answer. But these are actually pretty far away from zero, right? So I might actually have to subtract the period to make sure that this really is my first positive answer. So if I subtract eight pi from that, So if I take my 21 and subtract a pi, 
I find out that it is actually my one of my first positives because I get negative 3.773. So going a period backwards actually takes me into negative exits, which I don't want. I want positive answers. But what about this one though? If I were to subtract a pi, would that give me a positive x or a negative x? Because I want the positive ones. So here is my 31. No, oh, I just passed it. And if I subtract a pi, I get six, right? And that really is my first positive. So yeah, sometimes we'll have to backtrack a little bit and instead of adding the period to go forward, we may have to subtract it because we're actually not close enough to the, or, to, the, um, to the beginning when x is equal to zero. So that would be my first positive. This would be my second positive. And then this would be my third positive. Okay. So I want you to try the ones on the back. Um, so at least just come up with the general solution and we will go over those in class.